Ready? Open! We're going to be talking about feminism, feminists and passion and stuff. Action! Okay, so what is this programme? This programme is an empowerment week and it's all about feminism and female empowerment, the different aspects of it and express it in creative ways, whether that be through music or dance. And at the start we done like sound making and stuff. I've been helping out with photography. I haven't done much of it before, but I've like really enjoyed it and stuff. I will be making songs. <laughs> yeah. And then add a drum beat. Like that. Mm -hmm. And then we've got. <laughs> We've been up to so much in these past three days. The people who are leading it are really welcoming and you just you just come in basically feeling at home and you feel safe, you feel happy. And we went to the old Vic and we done like a tour and we went in like the roof and spoke about ghosts. And it was kind of scary. Another incredible woman who's mostly isn't most famous for playing male roles. Her most famous role is Romeo. I and mean, she's an American actress. She's kind of regarded to be the first American celebrity. And she's called Charlotte Cushman. Charlotte. The favourite thing that we have done is probably my talk show. Because um, I was really, I'm really proud of the progress of the talk show. I'm going to show you guys the intro to um, my um, our talk show. Hello ladies and girls, and not boys because boys are smelly. Welcome to BNTM LOL Night of Ladies Talk Show, where we talk all things feminism and feminists. Why? That's because... To me, feminism is like everyone being equal. Before I came in here, I only thought there was one type of feminism, which was just like all the feminisms put into one thing. I didn't know that there was all the different like categories of feminism. Feminism is empowering, it's exciting, it's evolving, and um, it's something that is one of my core values, so it helps me make decisions. The foundation of it is just celebrating and loving and sharing with the world the experience of being a woman or a non-binary person. You know, we are living in a society which is, in, which is built on patriarchy, so there are, there are also women who benefit from there not being a very strong feminist movement. So I think the difficulty can be um, talking around the complexities of it, but while still keeping people in the fold. The patriarchal society is damaging all of us, not just women and major, minority genders but men as well and the sooner we kind of realise that and kind of do something about it, the sooner everyone is going to be better off. We do all want to have the same opportunities, we all want to have the same rights and we should have that. We need to celebrate who we are, we need to love who we are, we need to accept who we are um, and women are in our society discouraged from doing that all the time, whether it's you know, shaming us for what we wear, shaming us for sticking to traditional roles, shaming us for going out of those traditional roles. It feels like a lot of the time we just get criticised no matter what we do and it's time that we all start saying we're all amazing and you can't tell us what to do. 